Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Ken Ken 2K2 Place, where we bring you all thing Epic 7. Apparently the Columbus of Epic 7 has done some work as the new continent has been revealed in episode 2. Gaze upon the dawn of our new continent and the new girl that comes with it, Luluka. We will be discussing Luluka's skill set, the material needed and where to get them, as well as a discussion on what I think would be suitable for her gearing and the stat of the equipment. Now before we begin, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe to my channel as this will help me continue to bring you this channel to life. Now on to the character. Luluka is an Aquarius Water Mage, so in order to upgrade her skill trees and awakening, you will be needing these materials below. The first one is Order of the Shield Insignia. In both normal and world difficulty, you can farm for this only in stage 6, stages as listed over here. You will need this material for your 5th potential awakening specifically. Then you will need Leather Sheath as your second material. This will be used for your skill enhancement and you can farm for this only in normal stage 4, 6 and 7. Lastly, for the rare material, you'll need the Fighter's Medal. Located in World Difficulty 4-7, 6-7, 7-S2, 9-2 and 10, and 10-7, Dash 8 and Dash S3. This will be required for both your last skill enhancement and your 6th potential awakening. Luluka, in my opinion, is a mage that tries to do the good side of both worlds, but requires very heavily on the setup condition. Despite being advertised as a mage that excels in damage, she doesn't start off immediately as one, but requires her to set up for multiple rounds before being able to do her full potential. Luckily, she can do it by stalling with her second skill which gives her team defense up and barrier. But by being a mage in itself, she doesn't have the innate bulk to take advantage of the buff. So she is still very susceptible to burst damage before going on full power. Let's get on to her skill. Her basic skill is Wild Wave. This is a single target attack with an added bonus effect of dealing more damage the lower the target HP is. When coupled with Defense Break, we can hope to relieve the good old days of X Gods as 3. Then comes to her second skill, Rico's Blessing. This is a defensive skill that helps Luluka with her fragility by giving her team 2 turn burial and all defense up. What's special about this skill is it is created with utilizing her own artifact in mind, boasting both a short cooldown and even shorter with Soul Burn. This skill has a 4 turn cooldown and 3 turn after leveling. You can further boost 2 bars of soul to make this into a 1 turn cooldown, turboing herself to ramp up her ultimate even quicker. Now on to her ultimate, the Wave of Vengeance. This is an AoE damage skill that will decrease the defense of all enemies for 2 turns, starting from 50% to 70% effect chance when maximized. After awakening, the damage of the skill will be stackable up to 3 times, giving her the potential of true stage killer. This skill has a 5 turn cooldown and down to 4 turn after leveling. Finally, we have Luluka's artifact that makes her skill flow like a charm. Here, we have Spirit's Breath, a mage artifact with 50% chance to decrease skill cooldown as long as you use a non-attack skill, up to 100% chance when maxed. At max level, this artifact gives 195 attack and 702 health to the wearer. What I feel so essential this is to Luluka is because this is an artifact that makes her less wonky. Without this, Luluka will have to wait for 4 turns every time she uses her ultimate, but with it goes significantly down to 2 turns. Meaning if the boss is not fast enough, it will have to eat up the full ramped up damage of your ultimate before the defense break runs out. With this artifact, Luluka's optimal rotation will be using her S3, then soul burn her S2, S2 again in the next round, and immediately to her S3. Then we come to a skill priority. As indicated in her kit, Luluka is a mage that relies heavily on her skill rotation. So it is advisable to level at least both to minus one skill cooldown, with her ultimate skill to max for more damage potential. As for Luluka's equipment suggestion, like all offensive heroes, it is suggested to make 4 pieces of attack gear and 2 pieces of crit gear to utilize her second skill barrier that scales off attack. Alternatively, like speed crit combo to minimize her downtime, speed health combo to balance off her squishiness can also be done, 
booster, it will shave off her potential. If you have a very fast CR booster, you can also opt for crit damage plus crit combo, but that will lay burden to an already harsh condition for her setup. For Artifact, you can go for her own Spirit Breath because it fits her so perfectly. Other than that, Etika's Scepter is also acceptable if you can't get her own Artifact. The newly added Tears of the Desert that increases her ramping potential even further by 20% is also a good choice if you are looking for a prolonged fight. Or if you are looking at survivability, you can also choose Chatty because the barrier granted also scales off her attack like her S2. To me, Luluka is a hero that requires a lot of effort out from you, needing both more life investment and a team that builds around her. But despite all that, what she brings to the table is good enough to offset the hard work. Both Defense Break and Defense Up are marvellous addition to the team, regardless of the mode you are playing with her. So do brace yourself for a bittersweet relationship with Luluka. And with that comes to an end to the introduction and guide for our new nuke in town, Luluka. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Love you.